Okay, so this is the continuation. So we will now be talking the mark on based on selling price. So in the mark on based on the selling price. These are the formulas that we use. So, if you are looking for the mark on, while the selling price or rate based on selling price and the selling price is given, we'll be using this formula. So, if you are looking for the rate based on the selling price, while the mark on and the selling price are given, we'll be using this one. And if we're looking for the selling price, while the cost and the rate based on selling price is given, will be using this one again we can always derive from those equation that we have in here okay so from those formula we can always derive so let us have our first example for the mark on based on the selling price so example number one how much did it cost the soundtrack music center a pack of digitally Digitally remastered recordings of Broadway musical CDs, which it sold for 720 with a 31% mark on based on the selling price. So in here, how much did it cost? So it means we are looking for the cost. So, so cost is the one that is missing and then which is sold when you say sold, it's for the selling price. Selling price is equals to 720. Then with 31%, mark on based on the selling price. Rate based on the selling price is equals to 31% or 0.31. Okay? So... What we will do is find for the cost. So from the given here, we can use this one. Because it's for the mark on, rate based on the selling price. So pag nag-derive naman tayo, walang cost dyan. Walang cost dito. Ito lang yung meron. So, ang gagamitin natin is from this formula. So, if we have the selling price is equals to the cost all over 1 minus rate based on the selling price. Gagawin natin, cross multiply lang tayo since may equal sign tayo dyan. And put 1 under the selling price. So, 1 times the cost is equals to the, multiply mo ngayon to. Selling price, multiply by 1 minus rate based on the selling price. So, kahit magkabalik ta dyan, kahit mauna to, or mauna yun, pareho lang din. Okay? So, multiply natin, 1 times cost is equals to cost. And then, selling price times the quantity minus 1 rate based on the selling price. Okay? So, since may cost na tayo dito, ito yung gagamitin nating formula ngayon. Selling price is given, which is this one. Rate based on the selling price is also given, which is this one. Substitute na lang tayo. So, we have C is equals to the selling price natin which is 720 times 1 minus rate based on selling price natin is 0.31 okay so 1 minus 0.31 that is equals to 0.69 okay then copy down lang natin si 720. 729 now times 0 0.69. Again, we have 720 
times 0.69 that is equivalent to 496.8 so that will be our cost so to check para tama yan check natin kung tama ba yung sagot natin na 496.8 okay ang gagawin natin multiply lang natin yung mark on rate based on the selling price sa selling price natin okay so we have 0 0.31 times 720 so 720 times 0 0.31 that is equivalent to 223.2 i-add natin ngayon yan sa cost natin which is 496.8 and that is equivalent to 720 since tama yung nakuha natin nagmatch siya sa selling price natin it means yung cost natin na 496.8 is also correct okay so, let us have our second example. For our second example, an electric pan was purchased by Basic Needs Appliance Store for 4,976.40. If the store sold it for 6,380, what mark on rate based on the selling price was allowed? Okay, so we are looking for the rate based on the selling price. Okay, so from the given, electric pan was purchased. It means this is the cost, which is 4,976.40. And sold, which means the selling price is equals to six thousand three hundred eighty pesos. Okay, so we are looking for the rate based on the selling price, which is this one. So this is the formula that we will be using. So, rate based on the selling price is equals to mark on over the selling price. So, yung selling price natin is here na given, pero yung mark on natin is wala. So, to get the mark on, our formula, mark on is equals to the selling price minus the cost. Selling price natin is 6,380 minus yung cost na 4,976.40. Okay? So, 6,380 minus 4,000 976.40 that is equivalent to 1403.6 so this will be our mark on okay since yung selling price natin is nandito na and mark on natin is nandito na which is this one. Gagawin na lang natin substitution. So, rate based on selling price is equals to the mark on, which is 1,403.6 all over selling price natin, 6,380. So, kapag kanilagay natin sa kagayan, 1,400 3.6 divided by 6,380 so that is equivalent to 
so rate based on the selling price is equals to 0 0.22 so kapag kakinuha natin yung percentage yan move to places to the right so we have 22% so this is the rate or the allowed rate based on selling price so 22% so para malaman kung tama ba yan yung 0.22 natin i-multiply natin yun yun sa selling price so 0.22 times our selling price which is 6,380 so 0.22 times 6,380 this is equals to 1,403.6 and then i-add natin yan doon sa cost natin which is this one 4,976.40 dapat ang kalabasan is 6,380 okay so add lang natin 1,000 403.6 plus 4,976.40 this is equivalent to 6,380 which is the selling price so from the selling price na 22 22% multiply natin sa selling price and then i-add natin sa cost, we've got 6,380, which is the same as our selling price. So, pareho lang yung nakuha, which means 0.22 or 22% is correct. Okay? So, let us have our last example. So, in here, a merchandiser purchased a recipe books for recipe book recipe books for 585 each he marked them to realize a profit of 28% of, of the selling price what was the selling price of each book okay so meron siya ditong 585 na nabili niya for each book purchase so it means this is the cost books for 585 each and then he realized to have a profit of 28% based on selling price so we have the rate based on the selling price as 28% or 0 0.28 What was the selling price of each book? So, we are looking for the selling price for each of the book. So, in here, from our formula, we will be using the formula selling price is equals to the cost divided by 1 minus rate based on the selling price. Since our cost and our risk based on the selling price here is given. So, ang gagawin natin, from this formula, selling price is equals to the cost minus uh, divided by 1 minus rate based on the selling price. Substitute lang natin yung given. Cost is 585. Then 1 minus rate based on selling price na then is 0.28. Okay? So, copy down mo lang si selling price. And 585 all over 1 minus 0.28. 1 minus 0.28. That is equivalent to 0 0.72. Okay? So now, 585 
divided by 0.72 that is equivalent to selling price natin ngayon 812.5 this will be our selling price to know if that is correct we have the selling price okay so yung selling price natin is 812.2 so yung multiply natin yan sa profit na I rate based on the selling price na 28% so we have 812.5 times rate natin na 0.28 okay so we have 812.5 times 0.28 that is equivalent to 227.5 then i-add natin yan dun sa cost natin which is 585 so 227.5 plus 585 that is equivalent to 812.5 which is just the same as this one which means our answer is correct okay so if you have any question you can always ask me in our GC and you can always come back to this video and then for this one do this sit work and then I will be waiting for your answers until our time or until 5 p.m. today. Okay? So, any late works after 5 p.m., then you will have a deduction on your scores. Okay? So, that would be all and thank you for watching.